Hi guys, and welcome back to Endangered Crypto. I recently came across this game, Dragonary, and um, it seems like a very early comparable game to Axie Infinity. It's got creatures, you can breed them, uh, it's all dragon themed, but I had a bit of a hard time figuring out what I should be doing, so I thought a little beginner's guide would be useful, especially for those of you that are particularly interested on the play to earn component. So if you Google Dragonary and you head over to their website, you can sign up right now. And if you sign up now, they currently have three dragons that they're giving away. They did have some starter packs that they were selling, but unfortunately they're sold out. I would have liked to have gotten my hands on that, but what to do? At least there are the free dragons. So if you sign up for your account, you get some free dragons. You might need to go into cave and nest to get them to spawn, but once you have them, um, there's a couple of things that you can do. For those of you that are interested in the play to earn component, the main thing that you need to worry about is um, completing missions. Here, these ember missions. I believe air is the easiest. You do them. And as you do them, you will collect obsidian. And you want to get to a thousand obsidian, which you can see over here in alchemy per day. Once you hit a thousand alchemy per day, the game will airdrop you the currency, um, which you can then exchange for USDT or whatever. But there's a few other things involved in that. So if we have a look at my account, you can see here that my rarity is common. I have three common rarity dragons. And the size of your airdrop is dependent on the rarity of your account. If you want more currency, you need to increase the rarity of your account. And you do that by acquiring more dragons that fit in to one of the rarer categories. Now there's a few ways you can do that. Unfortunately, right now, there is no marketplace, so you're stuck with the dragons you start with. Once you get the marketplace, you'll be able to pick up more dragons that are of a rarer quality. You can also do some breeding. So if we head into our cave at the altar, you'll be able to breed your dragons. Now, I believe this is not currently enabled. I might be wrong. If I am someone, please let me know in the comments. But as from what I understand it, you can pick two of your dragons here and an element which you can farm from the missions I showed you earlier and you can create an egg. Now, if the dragon that hatches, oh, oh and it will obviously cost you CYT, which is the currency, which is good. This is already a great way to reintroduce CYT into the economy to prevent people from just constantly pulling it out. When you breed your dragon, if your dragon comes out with certain stats above a certain level, it will increase in rarity. And that's kind of what you want to be doing is you want to be breeding your dragons, increasing their rarity. And the higher you get your account, then the, the bigger your airdrop is going to be. And that's pretty much the gameplay right now. We've got some other things here. Disenchant. I think this is a way to burn dragons. Fusing is a way to fuse dragons so you can combine two dragons to create a better dragon. And these are all little things that you can do to continue to breed your dragons and improve their rarity. So it is possible to get rarer dragons with a free account, but it looks like it is going to be a bit of a grind. In the forge, so when you, when you complete the missions here, the ember missions, you'll get these rewards, these air sparks, obsidian experience, and so on you can actually merge those here to create items which you can use in the battles or you can use them to breed your dragons and so on. Finally, we've got the barracks here where you can align your dragons for the fight. Now you can have up to five dragons. Right now you only get three free ones. You can add two more and, and that's what you need to progress through the levels. As far as I know, these three dragons are enough to get you to the eighth story mission. So if we head on back over, yeah, you can get up to the eighth story mission. To get beyond that, you need to have more dragons, which as we've discussed can be achieved through, through breeding. So there's a few things that you can do right now. You can focus on completing the 
Ember missions and get your obsidian up to a thousand and just cash out on that. Or you can find ways to reinvest the embers and start breeding your dragons for the future and start setting up a breeding ground for when the marketplace comes out, you can start selling your dragons. That's pretty much it. They've got dungeons incoming, they've got lands incoming, so the team seems to have a lot going on. The game is still in very early stage, it's still in alpha, but it's a great time to get in, it's a great time to get your foothold set up and plan for the future. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.